Hey guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. They're in seventh and ninth grade this year, and this is our sixth year homeschooling. Um, they are 12 and 14 years old. And today I'm gonna go over what we're using for biology for my ninth grader this year. He's using the guest towel biology. So here's a closer look at the guest towel biology for high school. It's mainly free and they use an online spine text for it. The online spine text is from the CK12 book, but what they do is they modify the CK12 slightly and there's an online schedule that's completely free. If you would like to pay for it, you can pay for the offline schedule to print it up yourself, which I don't need, so I didn't pay for it. Um, the things that I printed up, I have in this binder here. There are some lab sheets you can print up. And the worksheets. There's a um, workbook to use offline. And my son is using the workbook with this. And also I've created my own schedule right here. These are the different weeks. And this is exactly what I want my child to do each day. Their schedule online is kind of like a buffet. You can pick and choose what you want. And there's no way I was going to have my son do every single thing that was scheduled online. That would have taken way too long. So the lessons right now, they take about 30 minutes to one hour. And one of the reasons my son wasn't doing every single thing from all the lessons was because he's doing two guest hollow subjects. And on top of that, he's doing a separate language arts that has a lot of book reading as well. So there's no way he could have possibly gone through all of the books for all three of those subjects. This is how the online schedule works, it's separated by weeks. This is week one. And then you just follow along what it tells the child to read. This is the online spine book right here. It would be chapter one, what is biology? And then 1.1, science in the natural world. It's very easy to follow along. I kind of picked what my child wanted to do from the schedule and what I thought was very important. And these are all the different books that you would be reading that week. We've got biology 101 introduction. And then there's usually extra like activities that they can print up or extra videos to watch at the very bottom. So this is how the online spine looks. This is the 1.1, which is one of the first lessons. There's usually vocab words at the very beginning, which coordinate with the worksheets. And then there's videos embedded throughout the whole thing that your child will watch while they're reading, which my son loves the videos. And that's pretty much it for the online spine. In addition to that, there's a lot of offline books. A lot of the books that are used, I didn't purchase mainly because he doesn't have time to read all of them. And the other thing is, a lot of them we got from Hoopla or YouTube or even Audible. So I don't have the physical book in front of me, but he is reading more than this. Here's a few of the books. The Cartoon Guide to Genetics. Microbiology from Basher. and the Biology 101 DVD. Right now he's reading through this book, The Hot Zone, and he does like it. This is just one of the additional unscheduled readings. And it is kind of a hefty book, so it's gonna take him a little while. I don't have him read a whole lot every day. And after he's doing that, he's gonna be reading this Wicked Plants for unscheduled reading. He picked this book out himself. And then after this, he's gonna be reading the Fever book. I think it's about the Spanish flu, but he also picked out that book to read after this one. So he is completing the worksheets as he's reading the online text. And that's mainly because I want him to be able to digest the information better and go over it another time. And also I wanted to just keep track of what he's learning. Here's a few of the worksheets. And he had to draw a diagram. He has some other lab write-ups that you can print up and do while you're working in the lab. And this is the yeast lab. It gives really detailed instructions on how to properly complete the whole lab. And the other lab for a print-up was this microscope lab. It has a good list of material. 
right here for his observations. Some of these questions he's just answered out loud to me because we do work on the labs together. As far as microscopes go, I really we're on a tight budget and I really didn't want to spend a whole lot on a microscope because he's only going to be using it a few times throughout the year. I purchased this microscope during the Amazon Prime days and it, I want to say it was only like $30 and it is a microscope for a younger kid and it's a very basic one. I just wanted him to learn how to use a microscope at this point. I don't see a need to get him like a $300 one. He may end up doing dual credit in his last two years of high school and he may end up doing a science class there so he'll be able to use the more expensive equipment then. But this one worked really well for our purposes so far this year. I'm going to show you guys some pictures of the science experiments that we've done so far and are going to do. And then afterwards, I'll show you the actual material we've used for it and where I'm going to purchase it from. So this right here was for one of the first experiments we did. This is a yeast experiment. These are test tubes. I don't want to take them out right now, but they're glass. And it required balloons for it. So I ordered this from Home Science Tools. Even the balloons, because I didn't want to have to deal with running around to get it. These are the stoppers for it. This is another test experiment we've done already. This was for the red cabbage pH experiment. I just bought a kit from Home Science Tools. This is also for Home Science Tools. I haven't used it yet. The soil test. And I have one more that I ordered from them. This is the bacteria experiment. We have yet to do this one. And then one thing I've ordered from Amazon, in addition to that microscope, um, is this dissection set. I'm going to order several of these. He's going to be using this when he has to dissect different animals, and he's also going to be watching YouTube videos on it. He has a love for animals, and there's no way he would ever deal with having an animal killed just so he can dissect it. So we're going to go with these fake kits. So that's pretty much what goes into this biology curriculum for, he's using it for ninth grade this year. Um, he's really enjoying it. He's learning a lot. I feel like he's retaining the information a lot. And we're going to continue it the rest of the year. So I do recommend it. And it is, like I said earlier, it's based on an actual biology book. So you're not just, they're not just throwing together like random books from different places. It is a very good curriculum if you're on a tight budget or if you just want something slightly different for your child that has a good variety of resources. I think I paid maybe $100 for all of the lab equipment, and of course the curriculum was completely free online. So I hope this is helpful. Bye guys!